Um, he had a customer who opened up his trunk and said, I have a whole set of encyclopedias. They're last year's model of, you know, Britannicas, and I've got my new ones already. Would you like to have them? It was one of those Lord's blessings on our family. <coughs> and so they were just great to read, you know? And we taught our kids how to look well, stuff it up. It also included a leather-bound collection of all the classics, war and peace, and I mean, Fleet work of William Shakespeare, so we had this huge set of books, and then we had the blue ones, whatever those were, children's classics. classics. Science of knowledge. I mean, there was yeah. like eight huge boxes of books that he unloaded at our front door. <laughs> and we used every one of them homeschooling the kids, all our kids had read the classics. So, I, this is what I normally do, so I'm getting with the bass guitar in our orchestra. Yeah, I just, uh, probably most of you don't know this, but Ron and I are really twins separated from Someone there, there has to be one called enforcement. And I haven't found it yet, but I've, I've seen it demonstrated. You know, every now and then, not everyone who comes to church is in the right frame that they should be. And that's when you're kind of thankful for a Ron, because he can walk up to this person and then say, let me help you to your car. <laughs> And they're very cooperative. It's an, it's an impressive thing. It's a spiritual gift. <laughs> it's, very, it's an enforcement, and Ron has it. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, Ron, without saying anything, can, you know, exude 
I'm not someone to be messed with. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to use words. You just know, don't mess with this person. And if you're here, you better act right. Uh, but uh, God, I thank, I thank God for you, Ron. We've been good friends. And I, he and I get to talk sometimes because of just ministry situations, and I get to see his heart. Um, some of you know uh, that pastors use it, some of the illustrations that... Uh, the church I came from in Texas was the first church shooting uh, in our country, and uh, seven people were killed in that shooting. And uh, we had people, we didn't have an official security team at our church. We had policemen like on Sunday morning that were there occasionally, we had policemen in the congregation, and, uh, and we had policemen who responded fairly quickly to that event, um, but we were never prepared, churches weren't prepared then like they are today. Uh, but when you've, been, when you've been through something like that, one of the things that I thank God for every time I come onto this campus uh, is for Ron and you guys who work with him to provide the security here at the church. We know this place is safe. Amen. And, uh, and you, know, you really never know what your kids pick up on things. And I thought this was, it was, uh, it was humorous. My daughter said it in a way, um, but it also made a very clear statement. Uh, another one of our uh, security team that was here is Dane Schofield, and uh, and uh, and my daughter was watching the situation about the shooting in Colorado uh, at the theater when that happened, and uh, she just blurted out, "If they had a Ron Schofield there, that wouldn't have happened." <laughs> Ron, we're glad to be here with that guy. 